Hello, 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 everybody. This is Roel from Packet 6, and it is the wee hours of the morning right now because I am caffeinated on Pepsi. And so because of that, I wanted to show you a neat tool on Apple OS X called Wi-Fi Explorer, which is a wireless network scanner. It's going to scan the spectrum and see what else is roaming around on your network. And I just wanted to show you here, if I click on Wi-Fi Explorer and check out the About, I am on version 2.0.1 as of this recording. If we go back to the main window, I wanted to show you on the left side, you've got your results, right? Um, actually, at the top here, I am using my interface 0. I'm scanning at the moment, and I am associated to a network called DNet. I'm on channel 36 and 40. My primary channel is 36. Uh, it's, a, it's a 40 megahertz channel um, bonding. But what I really wanted to show you is its capabilities here. On the left side, we can we can see results. We can sort um, what Wi-Fi networks we're seeing. So if we go here to service set, we can see different SSIDs. Um, but that's not even the coolest p the coolest part, right? Right here in the middle, you can see a list of network names. Here's mine at the top because it has the best signal. I'm using an open open mesh access point great APs by the way um, I'm, I'm seeing a 93% signal here and it's on 2.4 channel 11 you can see your channel width, um, what mode you're running what's the max rate what kind of security and if you look uh, lower down here you can see that I am on actually 5 gigahertz it's a 79% signal it's a bonded channel 40 megahertz and the AP is sitting on my main floor. I'm actually downstairs in the garage recording this because my wife and my son, they're sleeping, and I don't want to wake them up. But I can see all my other neighbors here, Linksys. I can see what channels they're on because every time you click on a network name and highlight it, down here at the bottom, it actually shows you which network you're looking at. So that's the network that I clicked on. That's my network. I'm all alone there on the, on the Uni1 band. So down here, um, I've, I've clicked into the channels tab, which is, there's a tab right here in the middle between the panes. I've clicked right there. I've clicked, started on channels because it's the coolest view to look at. You can see how crowded the 2.4 gigahertz space is. I do have an SSID on 2.4 gigahertz, but I'm hardly on it. I'm on channel 11, but so are three or four other people. You've got other people bonding 2.4 gigahertz channels. And if you look to the right, Right here, it shows that we're in the 5 gigahertz spectrum. What The band's there at the top, just in case you didn't know. And there's not that many APs on 5 gigahertz. And the reason why I like using this tool is because you can quickly analyze what's going on on your wireless space, right? I can see what channels are available, who's stepping on my channel. Maybe I can optimize my wireless network a bit and just move to a channel that's not utilized. Most of the time, 2.4 gigahertz is going to be crowded. So try to move on to the 5 gigahertz spectrum. If you can, turn off your 2.4 gigahertz radios. That'll help steer clients to the 5 gigahertz band. And again, looking at the top of the um, main pane there, you can see the signal strength. You can see um, how strong your signal is wherever at the, your current location. That'll help you figure out, hey, you, maybe you've got a coverage gap, right? So now if we click down here on the Network Details tab, on the network that I've selected at the top, I get more details. I see my BSSID, my vendor, the beacon interval, the signal quality, just, just a ton of information that's here for you to see and analyze. You can see the basic rates. I should probably turn off 6 and make 12 mandatory. But you can also click onto these other networks as well and see what, what their details are. Down below, you're going to see some graphs and just over time what the signal strength is. You can see here the BSSIDs. I'm seeing some, some Apple devices there, some Apple APs. You can see what channels they're on. Then if you move over to the signal strength tab, that's this is all the all the networks uh, um, that I can see from my laptop here. And then I can highlight over mine and see what my signal strength is. 
The advanced details is going to give you much more information. This is everything you can see if you were to do a packet capture. The service set identifier, the supported rates, everything you want to know about the network that you're connected to. What's also awesome here is in the top of the main pane, you see a set of columns. This is actually customizable here. If you right click, let's say if I right click here in this open area, there's a lot more columns I don't even have enabled. And one of those um, would be basic rates. I if I wanted to see basic rates in that column. Uh, by default, I don't think channel utilization is actually enabled and I've already have that enabled. You can see here that we've got some, some SSIDs that are using their their channels quite a bit at 12 30 in the morning that's what time i'm recording this like dirty ted what are you doing dirty ted you're doing something dirty there's an rbi network too they're at 12 percent, 23 percent channel utilization uh, channel 7 and channel 5 why are they using those channels so let's check out um, some of the preferences for wi-fi explorer if we click on wi-fi explorer at the menu item at the top left and then click on preferences um, you can set the scan sensitivity. Um, you can set the this um, how you want to display the signal strength, either as percentage or DBMs. Do you want to delete networks from the list if they're not seen after five minutes? What do you want to search? Do you want to start scanning right automatically after you open it? What columns do you want to display by default? You can you can change that here, and in the advanced section. You can even hide the DFS channels if there's no networks using them. A lot of times there's going to be no networks using DFS channels. And um, another neat feature is uh, the application gets updated regularly. So automatically check for updates. And then every time I open it, there's always an update uh, for the vendor's database, and I apply that easily. This is a quick look at analyzing or scanning your wireless network just to see how you can optimize it just to see how you can troubleshoot what's going on. Maybe you're using a channel that somebody else is using and you're, you're causing co-channel interference there. Um, maybe you need to hop onto the five gigahertz range. It's a neat app. It's an inexpensive application. And to download it, just head over to Firefox and go to adriangranados.com slash apps slash Wi-Fi dash explorer and you'll see the full feature set, what kind of features it has, the screenshots, and you can download it straight from the App Store. And right now, at, at the time of this recording, it is $14.99. This is a good price for a great Wi-Fi scanner compared to the other ones that are out there right now. Thanks for watching the video.